Blackwater, a ruined settlement that used to belong to one of the clans of ancient Sarkoris, the Blackwater clan. There's not a single rep representative of the clan among the refugees who managed to escape from the demonic invasion. Most probably, the clan was destroyed completely. Are you telling me that the Sarkorians were... Whoa, they were extremely sophisticated. This is some sort of panel to put in a code, but... How, am I, how are we getting in there? Hello? Oh, the heck? I'm off. Did the door just open on its own? Your defeat is certain. We have electricity. We can... You, wait, what? 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 What is this? This is no more middle, medieval ages technology. I mean, what the heck? There's a computer. Resistance is futile. You cannot prevail. Capitulate. Why do Sarkorians have computers? What the heck? And electricity and lamps and... Voluntary modernization is less painful than the alternative. What the heck? The Augmented spellcaster. Uh... Okay. The mechanism controlling the gate is complicated and unfamiliar, however you trust your instincts. Managed to operate the machinery. Augmented worker. What? The, where did they come from? The heck? This is more than disturbing. Ah, test of my abilities. <laughs> Our horse hits like a truck. <laughs> I will resist. Don't hold back. dead person's wounds were carefully bandaged, but their injuries were too extensive and led to their death. Where the heck are we? This is some sort of modernized, industrial, like... I, I mean... This is magnificent. This is technology. <laughs> it's something that moves from point A to point B without a human doing anything. I believe the first ones to do this were um, car makers. I believe it was Ford in the United States. It was one of the first to use this uh, kind of technology to produce more goods in less time with automated machines. Mm. I mean, on, at least on a grand scale. Dead Crusader seriously wounded, bleeding where they lay, evidenced by the darkened, pungent smelling sheet. The sight of the thick straps that were used to bl bind helpless and wounded people to the beds is sickening. It looks like this corpse has been lying here on this bed, slowly becoming mummified for several months at least. The remains of the unknown warrior exude a holy horror. His death has the demons with a martyr's death. Corruption of the abyss sanctified. What the heck is this? What is this place? What are they doing? What are they creating here? Hmm. Climb up. Augmented salamander overseer. They are not attacking us. Why are they not attacking us? Oh, now they're attacking. 
Work protocol violation. Eliminate the obstacle. What the heck? Bomb. A hefty contraption that can be easily identified as Numerian by its appearance. The case features a large red button and a series of warning symbols such as crosses, skulls of fire. These signifiers indicate an ob universally obvious meaning to all observers, regardless of their language. That this item is a powerful bomb. Um. Okay. Are the demons now building nuclear warheads or what? <laughs> I mean, you never know at this point. <laughs> I mean, what the heck is this facility? Um, so, they're just throwing the materials there, and are they... I mean, apparently they're using the steel and the materials of the Crusaders to forge something new out of it. It's just... What are they doing with it? How do I get over here? Thick walls of the blast furnace retain the heat from the fire that recently raged within. Bloodstained armor belonging to crusaders and demons lies on... And demons waiting to be melted down. What is this place? That's... Whoa, the map is huge. Um... Okay, what's that? The sinister-looking instruments on the table appear to be used to open the skulls of unfortunate victims and attach the horrifying barbed circlets to the brain. So are they trying to make some sort of mechanical abominations with Bacta tank-like solutions? I mean, this is beyond crazy. We should... I mean, I'm tempted to kill the workers to free them. I mean, they're apparently slaves bound to the will of whatever this is, but... Until we know if they are... Maybe they can be saved. Too late for apologies. Mm. Damn. The heck? I'm Special tool is needed to open such a strong lock. Hmm? I do what, I must. what about this door? The reinforced door is tightly locked by an internal mechanism. Well, that's mildly problematic. How about this door? Present, present the pass key to unlock the gateway. Ah, well, I'm not C-3PO. I can't just walk in there. Hmm. Life ends here. Flaming lockpick fuel. Fuel for flaming lockpick. It is unlikely that this device was designed to open locked doors, but it is perfectly suited to that purpose. Drawing in gas from the connected metal flask with a low wine, the flaming lockpick releases a stream of white hot flame, heating and quickly vaporizing the metal lock. Well, that could be useful. It's surprising, but these vast machines perform tasks with the same delicacy as a silversmith refurbishing and repairing damaged components for the machine people. Okay, so we will call them machine people. And they are utilizing magic. That's disturbing. It appears that the humming machine filling the air around it with electricity is powering the surrounding mechanisms. Damn. Full plane, longsword unidentified, that's not bad. What do we have here? The notes read, percentage of successful implementations increased to 47. For the purpose of 
improving the res result further, complete removal of the temporal lobes will be implemented in future proceedings. Oh my goodness. Access the doors controls, yes. Access to maintenance cells granted. Oh dear. This is a nightmare house. Oh my goodness. Work. Whoa! What the heck? Time worn note. Maybe this sh will shed some light. The work on fortifying the outer perimeter is almost complete. We are now well protected against surprise raids, and no wandering demon will ever disturb us again. Unfortunately, Master Hundred Face tasked me with routine checks to keep the mechanisms in working condition, and I hate leaving the device maintenance area. These damned gates are driving me insane, and I can never remember the right access code. Why couldn't they just stick to numbers? They just had to use this geometric numerian nonsense. I keep forgetting the sequence. It does not end with a cycle, it ends with a base. Oh, and let me. Wait, wait, wait. I need a piece of paper. I need to write this down. I need to write this down. Okay, so. Ending. Uh, base is the last one. Base. Um, the symbols are basically the same. The circle, cycle is a cycle. Circle. Okay. Cycle equals circle. The base is a circle with a dot. Okay. Uh, but I keep mixing them up, and I just end up standing in front of the gates like an idiot. So I'll just write it on this and keep reading it over and over every day until I get it. The third symbol in the code is a base with a circle with a dot. Okay, base, third symbol. So the last, so the code has three symbols. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. A circle with a dot. Not a circle. Not a cycle. Yes, a cycle is just a circle. <laughs> okay. What the heck is going on here? Let's open this door. We can burn it. Oh, more flaming lockpick fuel. Okay. Uh, Tongi. Um, whatever that is. Can I do anything with the machines? No. This is disturbing. Okay, we have a passcode. We can do it. Let me just save before we do anything stupid. Present the pass key to unlock the gateway. Well, how do I present... a circle? I would like to present, but there... Why is there no UI? I am never wrong. Trust in My yourself. skills are absolute. It's time to act! Well, okay, I just ran in a circle with a dot. <laughs> it doesn't work, so... Maybe we need to find out the other symbols first. We still have a door to unlock. Access the door's control. The gate before you looks sturdy and well built. The metal doors are completely smooth and devoid of any keyholes or other locking mechanisms. Next to one of the doors is a small panel covered in symbols. Examine the gates. Quickly discover the joints and mechanical contraptions that serve to see the gate set the gates in motion. The doors themselves also reveal something interesting. What at first glance appeared to be a sheet of solid armor, upon closer inspection looks more like cloth. The armor is made from extremely fine grey fibers that have been very tightly and skillfully fitted together to create a single fabric. Investigate the unknown metal. Judging by the material's unyielding hardness, this is the sky metal known as adamantine. However, the darker mud color suggests that it is more likely an alloy of adamantine and a type of steel called clausite. A much cheaper substance, but also not quite as tough. You notice interspersions of yet another material among the grey fibers. Flecks of pale green that appear more crystalline than metallic in structure. This is probably no call, another sky metal, an extraordinary crystal that can be forged like iron and that has the capacity to resist magic. 
The creator of these gates must have wanted them to be truly indestructible barrier. Uh, touch the gate panel. The symbols on the panel react to your touch. Lighting up with a brief metallic sound, every symbol you touch stays illuminated for a little while, but when you press three in a row, they fade with a sharp, unpleasant sound that makes your ears hurt. Six symbols adorn the panel button. A circle, a triangle, a square, a circle with a dot, a rhombus, and a dot. Examine the butt buttons closely. I mean, we already know that the third button, the last one, is base. So, a circle with a dot. That's the first. Examine the buttons closely. On one of the symbols, the rhombus, you notice a bloody finger print. Okay, so rhombus is one that we need. We need rhombus. Rhombus. Smudge, though almost faded entirely, instantly gives you a sinister cast to the panel. So let's try circle, rhombus, circle with dot first. Circle. Rhombus, circle with dot. Okay, no. Then let's try rhombus, circle, circle with a dot. Okay. Well, let's try circle, circle, dot, no. Rhombus, rhombus, circle. Mmm. Give up trying to leave. What did that say? Info. Um, yeah, the sequence does not end with a cycle, and with a base. Yes, the symbols are basically the same. The cycle uh, is a circle, the base is a circle with a dot. The, the third symbol is a base, a circle with a dot. Yes, I know, but what are the first two symbols? I mean, we do have rhombus now, so apparently rhombus is somehow touched the gate panel. Um, we know that this is the last, and rhombus is either a first or second, so we could try them all out. Let's try rhombus out with the first. Um, rhombus circle, no. Rhombus triangle, no. Rhombus square, no. Rhombus dot, no. And then let's try out triangle rhombus. Ah! Triangle, rhombus, and circle with a dot. All the symbols light up with a green glow and you hear a mechanical clanking noise. Perfect. Follow if you dare. They have augment, uh, augmented demons. Greater Calavacus Marauder. What the heck is this? For this place is... Who is responsible for this? Who has the resources for this and the knowledge? Is this a demonic thing? Maybe a madman out of heaven? What the heck is this? Augmented succubus. Uh oh. How am I supposed to get the pass key? Hmm. I do what I must. A flaming lockpick could open this lock, but it requires fuel. Don't we have that? We, we still have one, right? Yeah, I uh, know. We don't have fuel, okay.
You realize the knowledge of the camp around you is stored in process the depth of this machine. It contains information on the workings of the camp's machinery as well as previous attempts to storm the compound. Um, what's it? Calling upon your extensive knowledge, you will hypothesize that these humming boxes are the brains of the hive of machines around you, the place where their memory and knowledge are stored. Yes, he has extensive knowledge about technology, sure. <laughs> Why not? We do it my way. Well, I don't want to go further in here. Damn, this is huge. Whoa. What is that? You need to protect yourself from the harmful psionic field envelop enveloping this door before you open. Psionic? Are we going for Pokemon? <laughs> what is this place? You two. Hmm. Present the pass key to unlock the gate. I don't have any pass key. Stop bothering me with your darn pass key. Um, oh, we can turn off the energy. Perfect. Follow if you dare. Chief Kara. Okay. See the man in charge here? We can still do this! After a coughing fit, the warrior wipes the blood from her lips. Her head moves slightly. Without the artificial stiffness you, you have observed in the behavior of the other enemies here. But her head has been mutilated in the same way as everyone else's. Mm, the top of her skull has been removed and the thin barbs of the crowns she's wearing go right into her exposed brain. Who are you? I am Gara, chieftain of the Blackwater clan. She regards you with proud defiance. There's no trace of the cold indifference in her eyes that you've seen in the other guards, and you, outsider, have assaulted my home and threatened our great mission. You, um, haven't lost your mind like the other occupants of this place? If you don't resist the circlet, it won't smother your mind. It's tough. Tough to feel someone else's will entering your consciousness. Tough to give up the freedom to control your body. Like a cold hand sinking into your head, sifting through your thoughts with its slimy fingers. For a moment, her defiant expression fades, and you catch a glimpse of her disgust and fear, but I readily accepted this fate. I'll gladly endure any torture and torment as long as it brings us closer to victory. What is your mission? Kara's voice rings with zealous fervor. To the feet, the demons. We're gathering an army that can march on ease and exterminate the abyssal spawn. Poor souls like you wander, who wander into our camp become invincible soldiers. 
once they are capable of prevailing in this war. No mere mortals, not even the gods themselves, can stop the world wound, and that means we are mortal kind's last chance. Oh, we killed them all. Uh oh. We possess great magical weapons, our bodies no longer know pain, and our hearts know no fear. Our minds are bound by the master's will and discipline. Who is the master? Cast your blade down at his feet, let him touch you, and you'll join with us as a true savior of Golarion. Maybe the one that lives in our friend. Why did you attack me? Duran, you know. Hundred Face identified you as a threat to the mission. We are executing his command. Your life is unimportant, as are ours. All that matters is the success of our mission. Tell me about Hundred Face. There is grief in her eyes, but answering unswearing devotion in her words. The last hope of Sarkoris, a great thinker and strategist, when the demons came and our clan was in its death true throes, nobody answered our call. The other clans chose to save themselves, our neighbors turned their backs on us, and the gods, even our gods, did not answer, because they were afraid. They hid like cowards. And then Hundred Face came, a stranger from Numeria who did not know us and owed us nothing. But unlike the others, he was willing to help. He was looking for allies, desperate people who would agree to anything. People like us. The Blackwater clan rejected the taboos of our ancestors, cursed the traitor gods and accepted the mage's help. And now, with his aid, we will defeat any foe and save Sarkorath. Oh, so this mage gets an invincible army that will allow him to dominate the entire world. Wonderful. What are you and Hundred Face doing here? We've been building an army. Ordinary mortals can't hope to fend off the demons. Our bodies are fragile. Uh, our bodies. Ah, uh, bodies. <laughs> I know, I'm always saying bodies. Mm. And our hearts are fickle. Ready to betray us at the crucial moment. Nothing of this world could give us the power we need, but... Numerian machines. Her voice drops to a whisper. A lot of this world... And they are capable of so much more than our pathetic blades and meager magic. My tribesmen became the first volunteers in the ranks of Hundred Faces Army, but not the last. Soon we will purge all Sarkoris of the taint, free our brethren from the demon's, demon's yoke, and prove that our sacrifice has not been in vain. Hundred Face has destroyed your clan, turned them all into monsters. We gave ourselves up willingly. We had to. And I was the first to let myself be crowned with a circlet. Yes, it was excruci excruciating and horrifying. When the blades dig into the bone, when the probes sink into the brain. That is when one begins to know true horror. Some surrender to their fear at the last moment. They try to resist, they beg for mercy. Her gaze turns gloomy, but we would not allow them to bring shame upon us all. I personally placed circlets upon the heads of the doubtful. A heavy, bloody burden that could only be carried by the clan's chieftain. Given the circumstances, that was a highly commendable decision. Admittedly, it did not provide any practical benefit to Sarkoris, but you are not at fault for that. You performed your duty in full. Who would have thought that Sarkorian savages, despite being followers of primitive cults, realized that they must do their part for the good of science and become test subjects in such a marvelous experiment? So you all chose to exist as mechanical puppets? Kala bears her teeth in fury. You would judge us? Have you ever seen demons but butcher entire villages? Mothers being lashed with whips and forced to run the length of a palisade, their bleeding children impaled atop it? Have you seen demons cut off a warrior's manhood just to mock him? Or slice the breasts off a brave woman? Have you ever watched a giant monster slowly devour a human being? leisurely chewing on them while they're still alive? I have. And I must put an end to this. The end justifies any means. Scowling and defiance, she is not even yelling at you, but past you, her eyes distant. We can do this. We won't give up. Whatever the cost, we'll pay it. I grieve for the countless losses that robbed you of your sanity, Kara. Naive fool, it is heroism, not madness, that you see before you. We did the unthinkable, but only because it was necessary. Sarkoris fell long ago. You're all slaves to a cunning mage, killing in the name of a dead nation. Sarkoris has fallen, but how? That's impossible. 
hundred face would have told us there must be survivors, there must be some resistance, it, it couldn't have happened. Everything we've done, no, no, it, it can't have been for nothing. I refuse to believe you. Her heart-rendering scream is filled with hatred and grief. Sarkoris lives and so do we. The preparations are almost complete and soon we will drive the accursed demons back into the abyss. Our poor brethren, suffering under the oppression of the world wound, are waiting for us to come to their rescue. And we will come. We will. How could anything be clear to you? You have only heard our story, not lived it. You don't know our anguish, the pain of our sacrifices. What do you see before you? A monster? A traitor? So naive, but hundred face will soon reveal the truth to you, and then you'll understand me. So she doesn't know that Sakoris has fallen. We're going to spare her. She gives you a crooked smile, and her eyes begin to glow. The light grows brighter, blinding. Because you are weak. I will not spare you. My warriors will gather your remains and bring them to hundred face so he can make you join us. She jumps to her feet in one impossible, unnatural motion, as if grabbed by an invisible hand. Her eyes are now ablaze with light. Oh, phase two of the battle. Oh, whoa. What the heck? Okay. Okay. The machine is like an insatiable but undiscriminating bibliophile, one that greedily absorbs whatever knowledge it can and stores it in its memory. Um, she went kaput. Numerian key. A carved key inlaid with glimmering crystals, judging by its unusual design, is pairs with some sort of Numerian mechanism. Blasting bracers. Of Numerian technology. Okay. Brought to life by electricity, this machine clearly has the capacity to think. It, its acute sensors are gathering information from every corner of the camp. Um, okay. That's it. Is there anything else here? How do I open all these doors that won't budge? Hmm. Um. Blue yellow. Does this mean we may be red? Is there a meaning to these colors? Yellow. Can we somehow manipulate the lights so they open? How do I open all these doors that won't open? Please don't tell me we need to kill workers. I don't want that. A flaming lockpick could open this lock, but it requires fuel. Unlocked. Ah, because we have the key. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You know what? That's a story for another episode.